talking about this Vicera boiler. It's actually a boiler that's in my own rental property. Um, it was fitted a couple of months ago. Don't look at the part where exactly a friend did the part work for me. It's okay. <laughs> but um, we're not talking about it today. What we're talking about, since it's been installed and, it, and it's continuously done this, uh, boilers um, not fired up at the minute. But if you run a cold tap, right, I'm going to put the cold tap on. Cold tap running, yeah. Boiler's obviously off. Well, actually, yeah, the boiler's off. It did look like it lit up then, but that was the reflection of the light. So, yeah, so boiler's off. I'm going to turn that cold tap off now. So I'm going to flip the cold tap off. Boom. What happened? was that the boiler attempted, well, started its firing up sequence. It, it didn't fire up, but the pump started um, and whatever else. Um, display lit up as if the hot tap had just been put on, but the hot tap hadn't been put on. It was just the cold tap being turned off. Um, it's nothing to do with the tap, which is a mix of tap, uh, because upstairs, um, they're not mix of taps and it does the same on all the taps the bath tap the, the you know the bath cold tap the basin cold tap upstairs turn them off and the boiler just starts to fire well just turns on it doesn't actually fire up so you know it's not igniting but it, the pump starts um so when this was when this when I first discovered this, I thought right, oh maybe I need a little expansion vessel because that often is a possible will will absorb any expansion and stop the cold water being pushed up and activating uh, the flow turbine. So I thought, yeah, little expansion vessel, um, but it didn't help. Then I thought, why is it not doing it? Then I thought, oh, is it this little dead leg here on the cold? Could that be it? Um, so I vented that as well, just turned it on, took that nut off, turned it on, but still it did it. So next I phoned Vicera and asked them. And he immediately said, and I've got to um, give Vicera a big thumbs up actually, because I, I, I was probably on the phone for no longer than two or three minutes and I was through to a technical support person. Brilliant, seemed to really know his stuff. Well, I hope he does. I'm hoping this proves right because basically he said straight away, you've got a hot, you've got a dead leg on your, wa on your not on your cold water, on your hot water. It's on your domestic hot water supply, on your pipe work somewhere, there's a dead leg. Which I thought, wow, is that what, what that would cause the boiler to turn on? When the cold taps turned off and he said, yep, yeah, 100%, you've got a dead leg on your hot water supply. So let's just go upstairs. Because after I spoke to him, I thought, well, where could that be? So I went upstairs to the bathroom. I thought that's a good place to start. Obviously, you've got hot taps up here. I've come in. Um shut that toilet and what do I find straight away I thought, what the hell is this it's capped off so obviously it's a dead leg of some sort it's actually a hot water dead leg and it's probably about over two meters long it goes down behind the toilet right along here right along here and it's on that T there. So really that can be capped off there. All that pipe work can disappear. So, right, dead leg, gone. All the way across, gone, gone, gone. And then I didn't put a stop end in, I thought, do it properly, put it back from the other room, curve it round because if I'd put a little stop end then it would have been a small dead leg and if it hadn't worked, then I'd have been like, right, well, I've got to redo it. So do it properly. If it works, it works. But there's, I can't really do it any better now. So that is as it is. So it comes around there to the hot tap. 
to the boiler. Let's see if this has worked. Got rid of the dead leg on the hot feed. Uh, boiler's back on. I've just put the boiler back on. Everything's back on as it should. Right, flip the cold tap on. Put the cold tap on. Right, I'm going to turn the cold tap off now. And before, every time I turn the cold tap off, the boiler started its, its ignition sequence, basically. You know, the pump started. Uh, it, 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 it obviously set the flow turbine going somehow, expanding. I don't know, but it did. Uh, so turn the cold tap off. Absolutely fine. Right, we're gonna try the cold tap upstairs just to make sure someone's upstairs. Rick, will you turn the cold tap on on the bath? No, we'll turn it on now. Right, turn it off. Yeah, that's fine. We do the basin. Yeah, turn it off. Absolutely fine. So, what Vakira told me, getting rid of the dead leg of the hot water feed completely sorted that issue. So hopefully that will help someone because it would have helped me because I've actually ended up spending whatever money on that expansion, mini expansion vessel, which I didn't need to do. I'm fitting it, so.